I'm Johnson Lam from Kaki DIY. Are you looking for a budget DIY 3D printer but still don't know which one to choose? Well, as you can see here, I have the Creality Ender Trees. Ender Tree, somewhat Ender Tree Pro because it's upgraded from the Ender Tree. And this is the CR10 S5, which is this very huge format. And we have here today the special new one, which is the Creality Ender Tree V2, which is a version 2 and a lot of upgrades here. Alright, let's see what are the differences in all of this. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward the entire unboxing process. Well, it is just showing you the parts because I can't really unbox or install this one because this particular one belongs to a friend. Okay, first up, you can see this new tempered glass and also the newly designed clips. Right, you will hold this tempered glass securely in place. Comparing to the old Ender tree, which you have to use paper clips to hold the particular surface down. Yep. And on the Ender 3 Pro, you get a magnetic bed, which makes it easier for you to remove printed items from the bed. You just need to snap them off. Voila! And you just put this, stup, the magnetic bed will snap back right in. The V2 tempered glass comes with two different surfaces. The bottom glossy one and the top is a little bit stickier with some like treatment on it. So it's up to you which one you like to use and you can just, well, clip it on using the new clip. Next is the V2's new nozzle housing kit. Well, it is more awesome looking. However, I do find out that, well, the fan is harder to reach. This is the one for the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro which um, you can easily change the fan and access to them by just removing some screws. Thirdly, now this is the biggest stuff that's been changed on the Ender 3 V2, which is the 4.3 inch HD color screen. And the best part is it is also detachable, so you can easily just detach it and hold it in your hand while you change the menu. And this is the old one on the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro. Well, very standard knob design and single color LCD screen. Now, this part surprised me on the V2. This is the extruder moto. And you can see here that the clamp is actually made out of plastic. But the cool part is the V2 comes with the extruder knob for you to attach on the extruder to turn the filaments in. Now this is the old one, the extruder knob, I have to 3D print it myself but if you can notice here, this is the MK8 metal extruder clamps and well the rest of it like the X-axis, the motors are the same and the assemblies are the same. Next up is the hidden toolbox, well for the V2, you can store all your pliers and tools in here, where else? In the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro, I have to 3D print it myself. The other major redesign is the power supply, which is installed under the bed. Comparing to the old one, which is standing behind and beside the bed. Well, and also noisier. Hidden in here is the new 32-bit silent motherboard. Well, Creality also fixed this problem where the old one, the fan is facing upwards and I have to print this to cover the fan. And the SD card slot is also easier to access comparing to the old one. Last but not least, the cables are neater on the new V2, partially because of the power supply which is mounted at the bottom. Okay. So we have gone through the differences between the Ender 3, the Ender 3 Pro and the Ender 3 V2. Now the magic question is, which Ender 3 is suitable for you? Okay, it's down to a few factors. Number one is of course the pricing itself. Okay, the Ender 3, the normal Ender 3 is 899 from Cytron. The Ender 3 Pro is 1199 and the Ender 3 V2 is 1299 okay so the differences are just a little bit 
So it boils down to number one, how well do you know 3D printers? If you are a total beginner, and secondly is your budget is okay to spend like maybe around thousand two and thousand three, I would recommend the Ender 3 V2, okay? Because basically it's easier to install, it's also easier to use, and well, you have peace of mind with the 32-bit, alright? But let's say if you are a little bit concerned about the budget, and you're okay to Google and search up information online to do your own modification and calibration and whatnot, then I would actually suggest you to go for the old Ender 3, the normal version, which is 899. Okay, because it's just 899, most of the feature and function, the size and all is exactly the same. Okay, and most of the parts you can 3D print and upgrade them as well. For example, like this particular Ender 3 versus this particular Ender 3 Pro which I printed a lot of upgrades myself this is basically, you know, you have your magnetic bed and stuff like that which is acting like an Ender 3 Pro already and the cost that I use to upgrade all this is probably less than 100 bucks so Ender 3, modify yourself, you get yourself like an Ender 3 Pro but if you are okay to spend a little bit more Go for the Ender 3 V2. Alright, that's it for now. Sorry, I can't unbox this one or install this particular one because this belongs to a friend, right? But my own Ender 3 V2 is coming soon. Alright, see you again. Thank you for watching.